Good evening. We all drive down the interstate, whether it's to get to work or home, maybe a doctor's appointment. But imagine being on it when someone randomly shoots at your car. This terrifying ordeal actually happened to a Nashville man in the middle of the afternoon. He tells News Channel 5's Emily Luxon he wants the person who did it off the road before they hurt someone else. It's frightening for me just driving down Nashville Road. Nashville drivers face plenty of challenges trying to get around town these days. It's just so scary. Yeah, you see it underneath hole up and it made it just a bigger hole underneath it was in front. But one man is lucky a routine trip to the doctor's office didn't land him in the hospital. Like I said, it, it's, I guess, good Lord, if somebody was on my side protecting me. The driver, who asked we conceal his identity for safety reasons, was on I-65 South near the Wedgwood exit in the middle of the afternoon on October 5th. That's when a white SUV pulled up next to him and someone inside shot at his car. I remember the arm extended, shooting, and taking off. The bullet hit the hood of his car just feet from where he was sitting. That's enough to kill a person. The driver didn't get a good look at the person who fired the shot, but remembers the vehicle clearly. Ninus model SUV, Chevrolet type, Tahoe, extremely high, got a, like a lifter kit, up extremely high, lower in the back, big tires, tinted windows. You cannot miss it. It's not just a concern in Nashville. The driver says friends told him they saw the same SUV in Lebanon and Franklin, and he wants to make sure drivers are keeping an eye out for it while on the road. If anyone sees it, be careful because you could be the next person to get shot. While he still doesn't know why the person targeted his car. No road rage, no fingers, no horn blowing or anything. He says the incident is a reminder for all drivers to stay alert and be cautious because you never know what you may encounter on the road. I can't imagine it happening to anybody else because, like I said, you may not get as fortunate as I did. Emily Luxon, News Channel 5. So frightening. The driver reported the incident to Metro Police. They are investigating. Of course, if you have any information on the SUV he described, reach out to police.